What's up guys, Will here with Renthusiast, my YouTube channel that is all about air-cooled Porsche ownership experience, and it has been 79 days since I published my last video. I had a couple things come up in my life that pulled me away from the channel. One was related to my day job, if you will, my real life job. Um, it required more time and attention than it has historically, but that is behind us. The second thing that kind of came up was I fell into the YouTube procrastination trap. So um, to publish content consistently, consistently is like anything else in life. You gotta build that habit, build that momentum. And when you stop, it's, it's kind of hard to, uh, to pick that back up, especially like with YouTube, because getting on camera can be a little bit nerve wracking. But here we are, I'm recommitted. We're gonna do this thing in 2023. I recently took a couple days and went down to Miami, Florida to hang out in the sun and do some channel planning. And so I've got the next few months laid out in terms of the topics I'm gonna be bringing to you guys. I have some interesting and fun videos planned, so I hope that you will subscribe. If you've not subscribed already, subscribers will be notified when I push those videos out. So these are gonna be good. I would urge you to do it. So today I'm gonna to take you through uh, almost like an update on my cars and my garage and what's been going on. I have not stopped playing with my Porsches. In fact, I've added a car that I think will be pretty surprising to some of you guys who have been following along for a while. Uh, I'll get into that in a moment. But I thought a great way to kind of shake the dust off is to just walk you through the garage, tell you what's been going on. And before I get into that though, I'd like to invite you to jump into our Facebook group, we're enthusiast air-cooled Porsche fans. That group is not about me. It's about the interactions I'm seeing between our 3,600 plus members. So I'm seeing like technical insights shared, drives being planned, pictures being shared, all that good stuff. So uh, if you're on Facebook and you don't think Facebook is the devil, come join us. Please answer the membership questions too. Um, those are required for entry. So now let's get into the update. When I last left off with you guys, I had, uh, yes, I had sold the 86, but I had also picked up this 1976 Porsche 911 mid-year. And I've done a couple videos on this car just in terms of like why I elected to buy a mid-year over a Carrera. Because that's why I sold the red car partially was to make room for this car. So in that video, I talked about why I decided to, to make that move. And I also gave you guys some insights into the driving, driving uh, impressions of this car. So since then, I've made a couple changes. The wheels uh, are Group 4 Campies in satin silver. Um, and I also swapped out the aluminum rocker trim. So that's how this car is sitting today. And I'm sorry, we're a little bit crammed in here. Something I'm gonna be doing here shortly is, and some of you might be horrified by this, I'm going to be swapping out these factory sports seats. These things are special, they're great, they belong with the car but by the same token, they're actually not very comfortable. Um, they make you have the sensation that you're riding up too high. And so I've got a set of Recaro experts that I'm going to be uh, putting in this car. And those, those are currently black. I'm gonna have the centers done in the same tartan that I have right here. And then of course, I'm gonna do the, um, the rest of the seat in a matching uh, leather so that it matches the cork interior. So that's what's going on with this car. I am grappling with a couple of issues with it. Surprise, surprise. The car is leaking oil, which is, you know, frankly to be expected. It's got a 3.2. Uh, the engine pulls hard. I think the engine's good. It just has some leaks. Um, it also has a very odd vibration in it. I'll do a video on that. Uh, whole issue and like where I'm at with it. It's very odd to have a vibration in an air-cooled 911 based on how the motor is set up and how it behaves. So anyway, I'll do something. I'll do a video on that too. Uh, next up in the lineup, and I'm trying to hide this guy right there, is this 993. There's not much to report on this. Um, I would say that if I could only have one Porsche, it would be this 993. I've spent a lot of time in this car. I've owned it for, I wanna say three years now, which is frankly a record for me. It is misbehaving slightly. The uh, oil temp is fluctuating pretty wildly, up and down and up and down and up and down. And so, I don't know, it's not really caused any issues for me um, in terms of drivability. Car still rips, but it is a little concerning. Something else that's been going on with this car is an intermittent uh, starting issue. So it just cranks and cranks and cranks and cranks. It makes me freak out because I'm like, oh, okay, this thing's not gonna start. And then it does catch. So that's what's, uh, <laughs> that's what's going on there. Let's jump over here to the hot rod. So I owe you guys some content on this car right here. This thing's been a hoot. I did a thousand miles uh, in this car a couple months ago over the course of a weekend. I went to a rally and really ripped on the car and it was fun. 
Um, it behaved well, there was no problems. And in fact, this car can sit for weeks and it just starts. Um, so oddly enough, it's been one of the more um, reliable. I frankly thought I would have more trouble with this one. It does leak oil, uh, of course. And we've had a couple issues with the, um, you know, dialing in the MFI pump and getting it to run right. But I think that's to be expected. But I don't know, this car's fun. It's a ripper. I don't name my cars, but if I did, I'd call this the buzzsaw because it's that mean. All right, so here's the deal for you guys who have been around. Here's the big surprise. Um, how do I set this up? I have, I, I owned a 997 Turbo a little while back and uh, I kept that car for about six months and I ended up selling it because it was just too fast. That's me just being completely honest with you. It was, it was just way too tempting. I did a video on that, I'll put a card up to it. Uh, but at the time I sold the car, I said, hey, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna buy another water-cooled Porsche. And yet, here we are. So let me open up the garage and I'll pick you back up. So a couple months back, I just, I kind of decided I wanted to add a, like a lower drama Porsche to the garage. I mean, this was actually a whole, <laughs> I don't know, there's a whole story about like how I ended up buying this and why I bought it and, and all that. And I'm gonna do a video dedicated solely to this car, but this is the newest addition to the garage. And I gotta tell you, man, these things are fantastic. Uh, in the video intro I'll do on why I bought this car here in a couple of weeks, I'll share with you guys why I think, why I think a 981 Cayman is a great complement to any garage that has air-cooled Porsches in it. So, so that's what's going on here, guys. Um, Something else I did, just because I'm sitting here talking at you, I ended up having um, a heating unit <laughs> installed in this garage. And if you guys are like thinking about doing anything like that, do it, pull the trigger if you can, because frankly, it has been a game changer. Uh, this is what I ended up buying and I love it. The thing just heats the garage up so quickly. My plans are to get back to being consistent with my publishing schedule. I, uh, I will be doing a few videos. I'm going to be, I'll do one, uh, a driving impression video on this guy right here. Of course, as I mentioned, I'm going to give you guys a video on why I bought this. I'll do a couple more videos on this mid-year as well. This has been a little bit of a love-hate, and I'll get into that um, too. Uh, I'm also going to be doing some owner interviews. I've lined those up. I've got a guy with a 930 is going to be on the channel. Got a couple other water-cooled Porsches coming down. And then I've also been reaching out to kind of influential people in the air-cooled Porsche community, names that you guys might recognize that, um, that I'll be interviewing on the channel too. So uh, yeah, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe so you're notified when I do those videos. And I do hope to see you next time. I'm out of here.